Alzheimer's was discovered by Dr. Alzheimer's, who was a German psychiatrist in 1906. Dr. Alzheimer found out that he had a patient who did not necessarily fit the definition of um, a psychiatric condition or illness, and so he followed the patient to her uh, death. Once the patient died, he dissected parts of the brain and he discovered that the brain had uh, different structures, uh, what we know now as plaques and tangles. And at that point, he realized that he was um, looking at a new disease, which um, was named after him. The brain is a very delicate organ. It, is, uh, it sits at the top of the head inside of uh, the cranial cavity, and it rests in uh, cerebrospinal fluid and it's inside uh, of like a pouch, so to speak. Brain has, is a very delicate uh, organ and has the consistency of pudding. Therefore, any hard hit to the head could potentially damage the brain and cause uh, an injury. Every function of the body is pretty much um, ruled by the brain. The brain is a machinery that makes us who we are and what we are so it makes the body function every function from digestion circulation to movement walking talking blinking eating all of those functions are ruled by the brain the difference between a healthy brain and a diseased brain is uh, basically a, a normal brain and uh, on an average adult is about three pounds and as a result of being diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease, one of the first things that happens is that the brain begins to atrophy and lose a lot of uh, white matter. So by the end of the disease, when the disease has run its course, the brain is um, half uh, of the original size and weight. Alzheimer's disease causes changes in memory, behavior, and thinking. The disease is progressive and fatal, and until now, there is no cure. The most identifiable signs of Alzheimer's are short-term memory loss, disruption in thinking, problems with behavior, and spatial visual issues. Uh, for example, a person who has um, Alzheimer's disease is unable to um, measure distances. Therefore, for example, we see older adults who have uh, cars that are in mint condition and they've been driving them for decades. And we see other older adults who have nicks and bumps and dents in their cars because they are unable as a result of the Alzheimer's disease to measure the distance between objects. Um, so driving, walking around, and uh, as a result of that, they also have a uh, history of falls. Dementia is a condition that is caused by a disease. In the majority of cases, the disease that causes dementia is Alzheimer's. Although the second most common is uh, vascular dementia, and the third most common is mixed dementia. There are several diseases or neurodegenerative diseases that cause dementia such as Parkinson's disease, ALS. There are a couple of areas in Latin America where the disease has mutated. For example, in uh, Puerto Rico, the disease is also uh, mutated and it causes early onset uh, Alzheimer's disease as well. Uh, it is also the case in Colombia where there is a very large uh, family with uh, what we no is an early onset type of Alzheimer's disease as well. In the state of Jalisco, there is a gene that has mutated and it's, it causes what we call uh, early onset Alzheimer's disease, which is traced to one single source. In this case, the disease affects people early on their lives. For example, may start at the age of 30 to 38 and by the time um, the person reaches their 50th birthday, 
uh, their disease has run its course and has affected not only that person in the family, this is also an inherited gene, which means that every child born to the couple has a 50% chance of developing the disease. In order to prevent Alzheimer's disease, it is important that we make some changes in a lifestyle. Uh, it's very important that we uh, are more conscious about our nutritional habits. Uh, for example, we're incorporating uh, more fish, vegetables, uh, grains, beans, uh, olive oil, such as like Mediterranean diet, and avoid eating um, fatty uh, meats, especially red meat, uh, incorporating more exercise, and also uh, try to sleep a little bit better, uh, eight to 10 hours a day, and also avoid um, refined foods. People can do several things to stay healthier longer. Uh, the four pillars of uh, health would be important. Um, eating a healthy diet, sleeping eight to 10 hours a day, exercising, and uh, also stimu brain stimulation uh, through social interaction and uh, learning new things. It is important to sleep eight to 10 hours a day because um, at night, when we are in deep sleep, uh, that's when the brain cleans itself of all the stuff that has accumulated throughout the day. So sleeping is very important. So a person that has insomnia, uh, basically the brain is not resting, there isn't enough sleep, there isn't enough, there is no profound sleep or REM, which uh, then, um, causes the brain to continually be stimulated and does not have the ability to clean itself. Alzheimer's disease is a disease that affects uh, the patient or the individual with the disease, the family, the community, and uh, the community at large. Age and ethnicity don't, do not have a factor. However, the majority of people with a diagnosis of Alzheimer's disease are Latinos. And as the community grow in the United States, uh, we are looking at higher and higher levels or numbers of diagnosis of Alzheimer's disease in the Latino community. Um, the bad part about it is that we don't have enough Latinos uh, who are participating in any um, study at this point. The clinical studies are pretty safe. Every study has uh, its own risks. The risks to the studies in uh, Alzheimer's are minimal. Uh, mostly it's limited to maybe uh, mental discomfort of the participant or adverse reaction to medication or secondary effects of the medication. It is important uh, for people to participate in uh, research studies um, especially in the Latino community, we are actually um, one of the communities that has least participation in research, but we are one of the communities that is most uh, affected by the Alzheimer's disease. So it is important that we participate so that researchers can find out how the disease affects the Latino community and also uh, develop treatments and ways of uh, controlling the disease or even curing the disease. Mm -hmm.